Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. Cut on brasse porte la Good evening, everyone. My name is Chelsea Wilness. I'm a professor of organizational behavior and the university's chief governance officer. Welcome to spring 2021 graduation celebration. I would like to acknowledge that although we are celebrating virtually this year, I'm speaking to you from the University of Saskatchewan's main campus, which is situated in the traditional territory of Treaty 6 and the homeland of the Métis. We pay our respects to the First Nations and Métis ancestors of this place and reaffirm our relationship with one another. I want to extend a warm thank you to our performers who began our celebration, to the drum group Buffalo Boys Productions for performing today's honor song, to Kate Nashalobe, accompanied by Matthew Praxis on piano for O Canada, and Amanda Goller, accompanied by Kiefer Paul on guitar for the Métis Anthem. We are so fortunate to have you all take part in our ceremony today. Thank you. In our celebration today, you'll hear from our elder and knowledge keeper, Roland Duquette, and our president and vice chancellor of the university, Peter Stoichev will each give their address to the graduands. Next, you'll hear from our Chancellor Grit McCreeth, and she will explain about convocation and what we would normally expect to see 
when we are in person for our ceremonies. Following the Chancellor, we will present to you one of this year's esteemed honorary degree recipients who will offer their message to the graduating class of 2021. The Dean's Message and Student Awards will be presented after the honorary degree and will be followed by a special message from your Alumni Association, of which you officially become a lifelong member now that you are graduating. We will close the ceremony with a song from the university's very talented music department. And now I will welcome Elder Roland Duquette, followed by President Peter Stoichev and Chancellor Grit McCreeth. Ah, Samin, you did your chase by Pegaski, Omagawi, Pegota, Ektagi, Snomatwig. If Nistana Nekte, we cheat, ah, Putinigan, go we cheese week, come up much a week. You come in a Kaiga one eight, a Miki worker, Kaki pick Snomago week. Good day, everyone. Again, I welcome you all you know, to the Treaty 6 territory, the homeland of the Métis, and also the, the graduates that are, you know, their special day today that you, we welcome you into, into, into our setting as what we are as people that connect with the Mother Earth. Eh? And then when we start that, you know, we, we can apply our, our skills to be grounded for what we learn through time and uh, and in the future. So that brings you back to your uh, careers that you're going to be going to, eh? taking, taking hold of your, of your lives, uh, later on your families, your community, and maybe your government, and maybe your, your country as well, to serve however you believe yourself to have that skill of communicating, first of all, applying your skills to maintain that harmony that we talk about in our in our country in our lives as well that you know it comes from a home from your home what you did what you are that dictated you to be that person that has that special skill that you you've earned for yourself through dedication through uh, sacrifice your families sacrificing your your loved ones your community as well maybe you know we don't know but you are the driving force for your own uh, family, for your own community, and for your for your country as well. When they co when you uh, contribute to the economy, and I and I thank you all for for listening. Uh. Hello, I'm Peter Stoichev. It's my great privilege to be the president of the University of Saskatchewan and to be speaking to you today from this historic Convocation Hall. I'd like to congratulate you on your remarkable accomplishment in completing your degrees, diplomas and certificates. While our Convocation format has changed, it does not in any way diminish your tremendous achievement. I regret I cannot be with you in person to shake your hand and congratulate you as you walk across the stage to the applause of your families and friends and supporters. Please take a moment to thank them for everything they have done to get you to this point. None of us achieves anything this big without the help of others. You're graduating at a time when everything has changed and will not be quite the same again. The pandemic has taught the world much about empathy and understanding and about the importance of science-based decision-making. It has exposed many inequities in our world and the vulnerability of marginalized peoples. It has highlighted the need for governments, public health experts, and citizens to work together. And it has demonstrated the importance of a university such as ours in the fight against one of the most pressing challenges of our lifetimes. No other year in our university's history has asked so much of us individually and collectively. As Saskatchewan's research intensive medical doctoral university, we have been a strategic and critical partner in the province's response and recovery efforts, supporting the health system, finding solutions, and working to help Saskatchewan emerge stronger from the pandemic. Many of you have contributed to those efforts and I thank you for your perseverance and resilience and hard work during this past extraordinary year. If I were with you to congratulate you on the stage today, I'd be saying that you made it. And now we all need you to go out and make the world a better place. It's a great privilege to have a university education. And with that privilege comes great responsibility. The world needs you now, educated and qualified, to make it a better place. 
More than ever before, all of us need people with degrees like yours from a university like yours to help build a more sustainable world, a more equitable world, a healthier world, a more compassionate world, a world with the courage to embrace diversity and togetherness simultaneously. I know you will do it. With this privilege of a University of Saskatchewan degree comes responsibility. Take hold of it, make it yours, Make the world a better place for you, for us, for everyone. Take the journey, take the risks, make a difference to a world that needs you now. None of you know exactly where you are headed next, and that's okay. This spring convocation includes honorary degrees being conferred to writer, activist, and elder Maria Campbell, author and naturalist Trevor Harriet, groundbreaking plant breeder Brian Harvey, diabetes researcher and innovator Thad No, and influential legal scholar and advisor Ed Ratushny. None of them knew what they would contribute and accomplish. They took the journey, not knowing its outcome, and broke down barriers for all of us who followed. You can do the same. Each of you graduating today has got it in you. Thank you in advance on behalf of everyone at the University of Saskatchewan for taking up this tremendous and timely challenge of making the world a better place. And I congratulate you on this convocation milestone in your lives. Welcome everyone. It is my honor and pleasure to celebrate this important milestone with you, which with a USASC degree will be the first of many milestones in your life. I am Grit McCreeth, Chancellor of the University of Saskatchewan and a proud graduate just as you are now too. While many of us have not been on campus for quite some time, most will recognize the space I am in today. Behind me is Convocation Hall. This place has immense history for USASC, and as the name implies, in the early days of the university, this is where USASC celebrated its convocation ceremonies. Though the number of students graduating outgrew Convocation Hall, this room remains the cornerstone of graduations in our university's history. Merlis Belcher Place joins that history as the new venue for Convocation Ceremonies, and we all look forward to having in-person celebrations once again, marking with great fanfare the transition from USASC student to USASC graduate. As USASC graduates, you now join more than 160,000 alumni worldwide, building the communities they call home and building our university's reputation through their outstanding influence and global reach. My role as chancellor is to confer your degrees, diplomas and certificates officially on behalf of the university something I have only had the pleasure of doing once face-to-face -face since stepping into this role in 2019. Convocation not only gives us the time to celebrate your accomplishments, but it also is a time when we acknowledge our honorary degree recipients and our most distinguished teachers and researchers. It is indeed a significant time for the university community. When I started in my official duties, one of the things I looked forward to the most was the opportunity to meet all of you and shake your hands at convocation. Circumstance has made that impossible. However, I am grateful that I am still able to take part via video. Before I turn you over to the honorary degree presentation and the rest of our program, I would like to leave you with some thoughts. Your time at USASC has prepared you for a lifetime of success, backed by a rich and rigorous education that will add value throughout your professional and personal lives. Today is a culmination of everything you have learned and achieved while at the University of Saskatchewan. And you are just getting started. I cannot wait to hear about the things you accomplish as a USASC graduate. Finally, 
you will note that over the course of the past few minutes, I have not recited any of the following words. COVID-19, unprecedented, grim milestone, or pandemic. Earlier this week, I was on a Zoom call with a number of graduating students who made me promise that I would not use any of those words in my address today. They told me that we have heard these words far too often this past 15 months. Here is hoping they are words we will not be saying with much regularity in the year ahead. I will simply say that in the last year, your campus activities, friendships, studies, and all the social aspects of university life have been compromised. Fate had a different plan for you, and I recognize that it took courage, tenacity, resilience, and fortitude to succeed in your academic pursuits, and for this, I commend you. As Dr. Seuss would say, yay you. Congratulations to all of you. We are so proud of what you have accomplished. And this is just the beginning. Today is your day. And remember, anything is possible. Thank you, Elder Duquette, President Stoichev, and Chancellor McCreeth. Next, we will turn to our honorary degree presentation, followed by our awards. Good evening. My name is Dr. Peter Bonham-Smith, and I am the Dean of the College of Arts and Science and a professor in biology. On behalf of the University of Saskatchewan, it is my great privilege to introduce Dr. Tat No, recipient of the Honorary Doctor of Science degree. At USASC, we aim to be what the world needs, and Dr. No is a shining example of this. He has truly made a difference on a global scale, particularly as the co-inventor of the no lenoff proxidase assay. This groundbreaking technological procedure has benefited patients with diabetes around the world. The assay led to the home-based one-touch blood glucose test, the industry standard, which continues to be used by diabetes patients today. In the College of Arts and Science, we are so proud that Dr. No is one of our distinguished alumni. He graduated with honors in 1970 before completing his PhD in biochemistry in 1974. Dr. No then went on to become a celebrated biochemist, research scientist, and innovator, serving as president and CEO of companies in Canada, the United States, and China. He currently holds 14 different industry patents, has edited seven books, and published more than 140 scientific articles. Dr. No has also become a prolific writer of poetry, newspaper articles, and cookbooks. This is in addition to authoring his 2013 memoir, Chinese Indonesia, an odyssey through racism, ethnicity, and science. His autobiography is a personal account of leaving his home in Indonesia in search of new opportunities in Canada and of finding his future here at the University of Saskatchewan. Dr. No's amazing career has been punctuated with numerous awards and honors, and I will take a moment to list some of them here. First, close to home, in 2016, Dr. Noll was selected as one of the College of Arts and Sciences Alumni of Influence. Our Alumni of Influence Awards recognize and celebrate outstanding alumni whose remarkable achievements and contributions have had and continue to have impact on their fields, their communities, and the university. These attributes are most certainly exemplified by Dr. Noll. Internationally, Dr. Noll has been named a Fellow of the American Institute of Chemistry, the National Academy of Clinical Biochemistry, and the Royal Australian Chemical Institute, and a member of the American Associate, Association of Clinical Chemistry. Dr. Noll has earned the Society of Chemical Industry Merit Award, as well as the 1992 Most Innovative Biotechnology Product Award from the University of California, San Diego. Dr. Noll is now retired and living in California, yet through the Tat Noll Fund for Study Abroad in the College of Arts and Science, he continues to open doors for students here at USASC. 
With this endowed fund, Dr. Knoll provides financial support for USAS students that enables them to participate in international learning experiences, something Dr. Knoll himself did 55 years ago. In 2020, Dr. Knoll received the Honored Supporter Award from the Saskatoon chapter of the Association of Fundraising Professionals. This honor was bestowed on him in recognition of his commitment to philanthropy. We are so grateful that our students continue to benefit from his generosity of spirit. With support from distinguished alumni like Dr. Noll, our students truly can be what the world needs. Eminent Chancellor, I am pleased to present Dr. Tat Noll, recipient of the University of Saskatchewan's Honorary Doctor of Science degree. Chancellor Green McGree, President and Vice Chancellor Peter Stoichev, Dean Peter Barnham Smith, faculty member, fellow graduates, friends, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored and grateful to receive the degree Doctor of Science Honoris Causa today. I want to extend my appreciation to Professor James Wood, who was the former head of the biochemistry department. He encouraged me to study biochemistry. I thank Professor Frank Vela for his inspiring lecture in biochemistry and for generously and continuously giving me sage advice on science and life in general over the last 51 years and for the award of this high honor. I'd like to thank Professor Thomas Wilson for his effort in moving the nomination process smoothly forward. I was born in Java, Indonesia into a Chinese family. As a Chinese Indonesian, we face discrimination in all areas of life, including but not limited to education and culture, business, military services. Upon high school graduation, I found myself denied entry to any of the state university because my diploma was from Chinese Indonesian high school. After two years of trying to find me my way out to study abroad, abroad I received a letter of admission from the College of Arts and Science from Saskatoon here. So in mid-October 1966, I arrived onto the campus. That was the most important turning point in my life. My first year was very challenging because I cannot follow the lecture of the professor due to my poor English. However, my classmates were very helpful in lending their note for me to catch up. I'm extremely thankful to them and appreciate their generosity toward me. Less than a year in 1967, I stopped receiving money from my parents in Indonesia. Later, I found out that the shop that my parents owned inherited from my grandparents was confiscated by the government and was given to a policeman. Thousands of Chinese Indonesians experienced the same fate. So as the new academic year started in 1967, I agonized over my future in Canada. I do not have sufficient fund to carry me through the following summer. However, re returning to Indonesia 
was absolutely not an option. It would greatly disappoint my parents who sacrificed so much to fund my study in Canada. So I resolutely decided to stay in Canada to complete my university education at all costs. I decided to leave Indonesia and become a Canadian. In 1968, the summertime, I began working in Murray Library. I got a job to the introduction of a library assistant, Donald T, a fellow Canadian that I met in my first year chemistry class. Through the combination of working in the library and part-time during the uh, academic years and the help of many Canadians, I completed my honors biochemistry program on schedule in 1970. The same year, I enrolled in the graduate program of biochemistry. Here again, I was lucky to study under the tutelage of the late Professor Peter Shagul. His kindness, patience, and open-mindedness allowed me to finish my PhD in three years with the resulting four publications. My seven years at the University of Saskatchewan, particularly the last three years, was the most fulfilling and memorable one. I learned a solid biochemistry that eventually became the foundation of my future biochemical research. But most importantly, I was inspired by the work of many professors. For example, the professor of chemistry, the head of chemistry department, Professor Dubergor Torvalson, who created a sulfate resistant cement that brought immense benefit worldwide, was just one example. Torvalson was the chemist that the world needs. In October 1973, filled with cherished memory, I left Saskatoon reluctantly to Ottawa to begin my first postdoctoral training on enzyme under the tutelage of Professor Kit Laidler the world-renowned physical chemist. Later on, I did two more postdoctoral training in different fields. Focusing on the basic research and applying the, the result of the research to solve the real-world problem was my mantra. And with that philosophy in mind, over the last 40 years, I have published over 140 publications and 14 patents, and also received several clearance from FDA for medical devices. Just for a few examples, I have improved the efficiency of immunochemical testing, measurement of enzyme, also the discovery of the now known as a Ngo and Lenhoff assay was critical in the creation of the first home-based whole blood glucose test that benefit many diabetic patients. I was also involved in the large scale purification of serum protein for thera therapeutic uses. And also in the synthesis of a matrix for purifying monoclonal antibody and improving the yield. 
When I look back 55 years ago, when I left Indonesia, I cannot imagine that I, a boy from a small town, Lumajang, from East Java, will receive this high honor today and stand before you to share my recent experience. All these are possible because the education that I received from the university and also the unconditional support from my parents and fellow Canadians. Today, I wish to congratulate all the graduates for your achievement. Your hard work is being recognized today. Today is an important milestone in your life. I urge you to be courageous in exploring the unfamiliar and unknown world and be passionate in your work and be alert and ready to seize the moment when it arises. You are now a member of our nation building team. Along the way, you will achieve success and receive recognition for your contribution to society. But you will also encounter setbacks. But I'm confident together with other team, team members, you will resolve it and overcome it. For those that do not receive the profession that you plan to, I say, do not dis be despair and remain curious and be flexible and adaptable and find area in your work that will spark interest. Those newfound interests will open the door of opportunity for you. Be fearless, be brave, enjoy your journey. There is no less Trigonian, Cyclops, nor the angry Poseidon, unless you invite them in. When you arrive at your destination, you eat a car, so to speak. You will be filled with all the wisdom, knowledge, and maturity that you gather along your journey and be willing to magnanimously share with others. Thank you. On behalf of everyone at the College of Arts and Science, I would like to congratulate you on receiving your degrees and certificates. This is a significant milestone and you should be very proud of what you have accomplished. Today's graduation celebration symbolizes years of hard work, commitment, resilience, and determination. Although I cannot congratulate you in person, this is still a time of great joy and celebration for us all. We are all so proud of you. As new graduates, you are joining a family of more than 54,000 College of Arts and Science alumni living across the globe. Your arts and science education has provided you with a firm foundation to broaden your knowledge and understanding of the world around you. Use this invaluable resource throughout your lives, wherever your education, career, passions or travels may take you. Wherever you go in the future, know that you have what it takes to build successful lives and careers. You carry within you your love of learning, your strong intellect and the ability to use the knowledge you have acquired at the University of Saskatchewan to make a difference in the world. As alumni, you can continue to have a profound impact on our college. Please stay in touch and join us for a performance or a lecture. Remain connected through the Arts and Science Alumni Magazine and the Green and White. Come back to share your knowledge, career insights, and sense of discovery with the next generation of students. Please visit the University of Saskatchewan campus and your college often. 
Let us know when you are here, as you will always be warmly welcomed. Congratulations, and my very best wishes to you, our new alumni, in all of your future endeavors. The Copland Prize in Humanities, in memory of the late Thomas Copland, is awarded annually at Spring Convocation to the most distinguished graduate in the humanities. This year's recipient of the Copland Prize in Humanities is Megan Fairbairn, who graduates today with a Bachelor of Arts Honours degree with high honours in English. Academically, Megan has excelled with a remarkable academic record and with interests that include literature, philosophy, psychology and history. One faculty member in her department says of Megan, her writing skills were excellent and she was quick on her feet orally. Her analysis of difficult text was nuanced and perceptive beyond her years. Megan's essay on the topic of art and unity in Virginia Woolf entitled Glimpsing Truth and Making It Whole was selected for publication this past fall in the University of Saskatchewan Undergrad Research Journal. Megan has received numerous awards in honor of her achievements, including winning the Hannan Scholarship on two occasions, the Bateman Memorial Scholarship in English, and the Ewan's Award in Canadian Literature. She is also the recipient of the Award for Excellence in English Studies at this year's graduation ceremony. While on campus, Megan held a number of positions across campus, including as student assistant to the director of the Undergraduate Research Initiative, a student peer advisor in the College of Arts and Science, a writing tutor with the University Library's Writing Help Center, and most recently, a heritage interpreter at the Diefenbaker Canada Center on campus. Megan has volunteered at the drop-in centers of both the USSU Pride Center and out Saskatoon, and has been a volunteer writer with the Sheaf as well as a journalist and columnist with the Saskatoon Express Community Newspaper. In fall, supported by a Canada Graduate Scholarship from the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council of Canada, Megan will start a Master's of Arts in English here at the University of Saskatchewan. In due course, Megan would like to complete her PhD and become a professor of English literature. Congratulations to Megan Fairbairn as this year's recipient of the Copland Prize in the Humanities. The Copland Prize in Social Sciences, in memory of the late Thomas Copland, is awarded annually at each spring convocation to the most distinguished graduate in the social sciences. This year's recipient is Samaru St. Louis, who graduates today with a Bachelor of Arts four-year degree with great distinction in linguistics. Sumaru is a highly independent and engaged student who inspires others to excel in their academic pursuits. Sumaru's academic accomplishments are highlighted through her receipt of several awards, including the Beatrice Z. Lick Scholarship, the Haitland Family Memorial Fund Scholarship, and the Joseph H. Thompson Scholarship. Having expressed a profound interest in speech language pathology, Sumaru's desire is to empower individuals through communication. Through a combination of research experience with the University of Saskatchewan's Cognitive Development Laboratory and the Cognitive Neuroscience Laboratory, as both a research team member and a volunteer, Sumaru's knowledge in this field has expanded over the course of her undergraduate program. Sumaru's experiences with speech-language pathology practices have been further enhanced through volunteering with Here to Understand Audiology Services and the Speech Language Network. These roles have included facilitating literacy development at summer camps for elementary students, small group sessions with pediatric clients, and a Lego and language group for elementary students with autism, FASD, and expression and receptive language delays. Sumaru is also a talented musician who has been a first violinist with the Saskatoon Symphony Orchestra since 2015, receiving tenure at her first year. She arranges music and performs at events, teaches piano, violin, and theory to children and adult students, and leads music ministry at her church. As a volunteer with Sistema Saskatoon, 
Sumaru has mentored and provided music instruction on violin and cello to 70 marginalized elementary students. Sumaru has exercised her leadership skills as secretary for the Linguistic Students Association and as executive advertising coordinator for the University of Saskatchewan Swing Dance Club. Away from music and language, Sumaru loves mountain biking, hiking and swimming. She is a certified lifeguard and swim instructor. Having been accepted into the University of Alberta's speech language pathology program, Sumaru plans to pursue a degree in communication science and disorders. Long term, Sumaru's goal is to pursue her PhD in either neurolinguistics or psychology. Congratulations to Sumaru St. Louis as the 2021 recipient of the Copland Prize in Social Sciences. The Earl of Besborough Prize in Science, donated by the Right Honourable Earl of Besborough to commemorate his father, the former Governor General of Canada, is awarded annually to the most distinguished graduate in science. The Haslam Medal, in honour of the late Dr. R. N. H. Haslam, former Professor of Physics, Dean of the College of Arts and Science, and Vice President Academic of the University of Saskatchewan, is awarded annually to the most distinguished graduate receiving a four-year or honours degree from the College of Arts and Science. This year's recipient of the Earl of Besborough Prize in Science and the Haslam Medal is Mahmoud Azam, who graduates today with a Bachelor of Science double honours degree with high honours in mathematics and computer science. Mahmoud Azam was born and raised by his parents and extended family in Dhaka, Bangladesh, before immigrating to Canada and enrolling at the University of Saskatchewan. Mahmoud's early years nurtured his highly inquisitive mind and he has grown into an exceptional student who distinguishes himself with insightful, deep and surprising questions, masterful analysis and attention to rigour. In his coursework, Mahmoud's command of the material rivals that of graduate students. During his studies, Mahmoud has participated in a 16-month internship at Vesema Networks, Inc. in Saskatoon as part of the Computer Science Internship Program. He has worked on four summer research projects and has received a Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada Undergraduate Student Research Award on three separate occasions, a highly atypical accomplishment. He has received numerous awards including the J.S. Middleton and J.S.G. Middleton Scholarship and the J.P. Tremblay Book Award while also winning first prize in the University of Saskatchewan Programming Contest in winter 2020. In addition to his undeniable scholarly success, Mahmoud actively participates in the university's mathematical community, including serving as Vice President Finance of the Math and Stats Student Society for the past year, engagement in Math Club, and assistance with Competitive Programming Group. He has given seminars through the Math and Stats Student Society, which are available on YouTube and have been highly viewed in Canada and beyond. He is also a first author on two soon-to-be-published research papers. During each year of his degree program, Mahmoud has volunteered as a tutor with the Student Society's Mathematics and Statistics Help Centre, where he has assisted fellow students with quantitative coursework. Away from his studies, Mahmoud describes himself as a devoted music enthusiast and amateur pianist with interest in both jazz and Indian classical music. Mahmoud will be furthering his education in the mathematics program at the University of Toronto. Congratulations to Mahmoud Azam as this year's recipient of both the Earl of Besborough Prize in Science and the Haslam Medal. The University of Saskatchewan Film Society Prize is awarded to the most distinguished graduate in a degree in the fine arts, which includes art and art history, music or drama. This year's recipient is Christine Andrew Stuckel, who graduates today with a Bachelor of Fine Arts Honours degree with high honours in studio art. Christine moved to Saskatoon from the Ottawa Valley with her daughters in 1999. 
Prior to moving, she had attended community college and had developed a successful career, but she had dreamed of having a university experience. In 2015, she began her study of art in the areas of painting, drawing, photography and sculpture installation at the University of Saskatchewan. Being adopted as a child informs Christine's artistic pursuits as she explores roots, history, ancestry and place. Her Bachelor of Fine Arts exhibition offers an expression of isolation and disconnection that I experienced as an adoptee within the context of ancestral lineage. Christine's art takes risks and is highly ambitious as she experiments across a range of media to explore having two family histories which are very different and exploring themes of identity, loss, detachment and ancestral roots or genealogy. Christine's remarkable efforts in both art history, visual culture and studio has been rewarded with the Michael S. Missenchuk Memorial Award in Art and Art History, Athletes and Art Scholarships and the Anna Byshynski Award for Excellence in the Fine Arts. As further recognition, in 2018, Christine was chosen as one of the top three painting students to enter a competition at Gallery Art Muir in Montreal and was one of the student artists subsequently chosen to take part in an associated exhibition. Since joining the university, Christine has volunteered her time wherever possible. She is engaged with the Visual Arts Students Union, both as their secretary and social media coordinator. In 2016-17, she was intern registrar at the on-campus Gordon Snellgrove Gallery, and she has also volunteered as art facilitator with, Sask with Saskatoon's Adoption Support Centre. Following completion of her Bachelor of Fine Arts, Christine made a successful proposal to the City of Saskatoon to take up an eight-month artist-in-residence program at the Forestry Farm Park and Zoo, along with a fellow graduate. This is part of the Artists in Place, the Bunkhouse Project. In addition to further pursuing artistic opportunities locally, nationally and internationally, Christine hopes to one day complete a Master of Fine Arts degree. Congratulations to Christine Andrew Stucco as this year's recipient of the University of Saskatchewan Film Society Prize. The University Medal in Bachelor of Arts and Science degree is awarded annually at Spring Convocation to the most distinguished graduate in a Bachelor of Arts and Science degree program. This year's recipient is Jay Cousel, who graduates today with a Bachelor of Arts and Science Honours degree with high honours in environment and society. Jay Cousel is an exceptional student who brings to his coursework a combination of vivid curiosity and abundant knowledge. Jay is a well-prepared and engaged student who, according to a letter of reference for this award, helped his referee to be a better teacher. Jay's academic path, while not common in the traditional sense, began in 1964, includes a 28-year gap outside of academia, and continues to this day. Over that time, Jay has become an academic generalist who has demonstrated the pursuit of knowledge and excellence over 32 years across 46 disciplines and several degrees at the undergrad and graduate levels. Further, his studies have been carried out in the 12 languages in which he demonstrates some competence. This is quite the academic career. Jay has received several scholarships over his post-secondary career. Most recently, this has included the Harvey Undergraduate Scholarship and the Roscoe R. Miller Scholarship. At the University of Saskatchewan, Jay has been employed in a number of roles, including library technician, research associate, sessional lecturer, and teaching assistant. He is a member of the Rotary Club of Saskatoon, Mwasan, and is president-elect for this coming year. Jay has been readmitted to the College of Arts and Science for fall of 2021, where he will pursue his sixth degree, an Honours Bachelor of Arts in Archaeology and Anthropology. Congratulations to Jay Cousel, who is this year's recipient of the University Medal in Bachelor of Arts and Science degree. Hello. 
It's my pleasure to present the Right Reverend Monsignor Miroslav Kolodé Memorial Academic Prize to the St. Thomas More College student graduating with the highest academic average. This year's recipient is Roya Imadi. Roya is graduating today with a Bachelor of Science Honors in Physiology and Pharmacology, but her educational journey is not over. She has been accepted into medicine and will continue to pursue her dream of becoming a physician this fall. Immigrating from Iraq to Canada seven years ago with her family, Roya has long wanted to work in a healthcare profession, but she didn't originally know what form that would take. She, she told me that after taking many undergraduate courses in physiology and pharmacology, she learned how the many different body systems work together as a whole. That interest ultimately led, to her, led her to pursue medicine, where she could apply the lessons of physiology to clinical scenarios. Without question, a successful student like Roya has spent a lot of time studying over the last four years, and she expressed her gratitude for being able to access the Shannon Library at St. Thomas More College, where she said, uh, which she said was her favorite campus study space. But academic success alone doesn't make for the best physicians, and nor does it tell the complete story of this impressive young woman. Roya gave back to her fellow students and the campus community as a volunteer note taker for access and equity services. Further to that, Roya volunteered as a peer mentor in the College of Arts and Science, where she helped new students make a successful transition to university life and learning. Congratulations, Roya, on receiving the Quality Prize and the best of luck in your future studies. We are so proud of you, and you will always be welcome at St. Thomas More College. Thank you. Hello, one and all. Bonjour à tous. And in the languages of the lands where the University of Saskatchewan is located, Tansi. Haukoda, Etlanate, Haukola, Tanshi, Haukona, Anin. Please let me introduce myself to each of you. I am Dr. Irene, Provost and Vice President Academic here at the University of Saskatchewan. It gives me great pleasure to present our 2021 Governor General's Academic Medals on behalf of the Chief Justice of Canada, Richard Wagner. For more than 140 years, the Governor-General's Academic Medals have recognised the outstanding scholastic achievements of students in Canada. Bronze medals are awarded at the secondary school level, silver at the undergraduate level, and gold at the graduate level. The Governor-General's Gold Medal has since become one of the most prestigious awards that a student at a Canadian educational institution may achieve. Recipients are selected for their academic excellence and have the highest average in their high school or post-secondary institution. The University of Saskatchewan has the opportunity to award two gold medals and two silver annually. Ian McPhail is a very talented student and it gives me great pleasure to introduce him as our gold medal recipient. Under the supervision of Dr. Mark Oliver, Dr. McPhail completed his PhD in clinical psychology here at the University of Saskatchewan. Ian is currently a psychologist under supervised practice in private practice in Toronto. He's also starting a postdoctoral fellowship at the Université de Montréal under the supervision of Dr. Franca Cortoni. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Ian McPhail to acknowledge his outstanding academic excellence and to present him with the Governor-General's Gold Medal. The Governor-General of Canada provides the University with two silver medals annually to recognize our exceptional undergraduate students who achieve the highest academic standing upon graduation from a bachelor's program. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our silver medallion recipients to you, Claire Duval and Remington Rowell. Claire is graduating with a Bachelor of Science Honours degree, high honours, with a major in physiology and pharmacology. This fall, Claire will continue her studies at the University of Saskatchewan in the College of Medicine, where she will pursue her goal of becoming a physician. 
Remington is graduating from the University of Saskatchewan with a Bachelor of Science in Engineering Physics and a dual degree in Computer Science. Remington now works for the Superdan Group in ISAS, assisting in the operations and development of radars used to study the ionosphere. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Claire and Remington once again. This recognition is a real testament to the hard work both of you put into your degrees. Well done and congratulations on impressive achievements. Today we celebrate that you have earned your degree from the University of Saskatchewan. Congratulations, you did it. With your degree, you join an ever-growing alumni family of more than 158,000 USAS graduates around the world. We congratulate you on all your success and all your achievements that are sure to come. And now the following video from the University of Saskatchewan Alumni Association shows where a USASC degree can take you. Welcome to the USASC alumni family. You have persevered through some of the most challenging times that our world has ever faced. And you have come out on top. You have come out on top. You have weathered the storm and won. Your graduation today is but one of the milestones. It's but one of the many milestones you will face in the coming years. Remember your classmates. Remember your professors. Remember your professors. Remember all the victories and challenges you faced. Remember all this fondly. Remember all this fondly. When you enrolled at the University of Saskatchewan, it was a new beginning. Your next steps beyond campus are a new beginning for you as well, as you will continue to grow professionally and personally. Make sure you take time to celebrate your victories with your family and friends. And just know that the USASC Alumni Association is very happy to call you one of their own. From all of the 162,000 people around the world who call themselves USASC alumni, Congratulations. Congratulations. Be what the world needs. One, two, one, two. Grab your coat and get your hat. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear the pitter pat? And that happy tune is your step. Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. I used to walk in the shade with those blue. On the sunny side 